Hey, welcome to another show. Today in the show, we're going to be talking about odd and even numbers, and you got Spider-Man to help you. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the show. That's right in the show. Today, we're going to be learning about odd and even numbers. But first of all, I have to unmask myself. Are you ready to find out who it is? Mr. Jeff, your math teacher. That's right. Hey, I hope you're having a good day out there. Let me grab my glasses here. Uh, even in odd numbers, first of all, you're trying to figure out what is an even number, what is an odd number. Well, it's pretty simple. Let's say you're playing a game and you have two people on this side and you have two people on that side. That's a pretty fair game, isn't it? You know, let's say you're playing kickball or baseball or, or football or something like that. That's a fair number. But if you only have one person on this side and two people on this side, it's not really fair, is it? The other side has a little bit more. So that is called odd. Our even numbers are two, four, six, eight, ten. And don't forget about zero, because if you have zero on this side and you have zero on that side, it's even. If you have two on this side and two on this side, it's even. So even numbers are zero, two, four, six, eight, and it continues. All right? Odd numbers, those are one, three, five, seven, and nine. Okay? All right, let's take a look at this. I have some spiders that got loose from one of my experiments. So um, I was trying to make some super webs and these spiders have to go in the right boxes, okay? So I need to put the spiders with the even numbers in the even box and the spiders with the odd numbers in the odd box. Can you help me out? All right, let's take a look at this right here. Where does that one go? Your right goes in the even box. Put that right there. Here we go. Got the number one. Where's that go? Yep, you're right. Right over here in the odd box. Here is the number four. Somebody just said put that in the even box. All right, thank you very much. Here is the number three. Boy, you are super smart. Goes right over here in the odd box. A three is an odd number. Here we go. Number two. That's right, goes in the even box. Two, dos, two. And one last one, cinco, number five. Where's that go? Over there, are you sure? <laughs> You're right, goes right over here in the odd box. So once again, just to review, our even numbers are zero, two, four, six, eight, and our odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, and nine. So you're trying to, maybe you're asking yourself, hey, what about the bigger numbers like 12 or 13 or 54? What we do is we look in the ones place. Let me get my marker right here. We look in the ones place. For instance, if I have a number like 23, this is the ones place right here and this is the tens place, but we're only looking in the ones place and we look at that number right there. And if that is one, three, five, seven, or nine, that will be an odd number. If it is a number like zero, two, four, six, or eight, then that will be an, an even number, okay? So 23 ends in an odd number. The odd number is in the ones place. So that is an odd number. Let's take an, uh, another number here, all right? Let's take the number um, 12, all right? What is that? What is that? Is that an odd or is that an even number? You're right. We looked at the ones place and that is a two and a two is an even number. You're awesome. Hey, let's do some exercises right now. All right. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple numbers and you're going to tell me if it is even or odd. What do you think? You're right. It is even. Eight is an even number. What do you think nine is? 
Awesome. Nine is an odd number. What do you think five is? Super. Five is an odd number. What do you think the number four is? That's right. It's an even number. Okay, can you tell me the number of cubes we have here? Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. Six is an even number. If we take three cubes here and three cubes here, we have an even number on both sides. Okay, what about this? How many cubes do we have? Is it even or odd? We have one, two, three. You're right. We have three cubes are odd because if we break those apart, we're going to have an odd side. There's going to be two here and one there. So that is an odd number. All right, let's do some bigger numbers now, all right? What do you think 19 is? You're right. You're looking at the nine in the ones place. That is an odd number. What about the number eight? Do you remember? Super. Eight is an even number. What about the number 14? Look at the ones place. You have a four right there. Great. It is an even number. Here's the number 17. What do you think that is? You're doing good. That is an odd number. Here's the 12. What is that? <laughs> you guys are super. Yes, 12 is an even number. All right, can you tell me if this is an even or odd number of blocks? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 is an odd number. Okay, we have another group of blocks. Can you tell me if this is an even or odd number? Let's count those first. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Is 14 an even or odd number? You're correct. 14 is an even number. Let's split these apart here. Whoops, we had one fall there. And you can see that they are an equal sides. There's seven on this side and seven on this side. So that makes it even. All right, I got a fun exercise for you. What we're going to do is we are going to be drawing a monster. That's right. And we're going to be drawing an eyes, arms, mouth, nose, legs, head, teeth, antenna, fingers, and tail. And, and for the teachers out there, do you see these little clips right here? I'll have a link down below where you can find these on Amazon, but it is so cool because you can clip these, you know, papers like that and put it on your whiteboard and it works out perfect, you know, for moving things around. So anyway, we're going to be doing a monster, an odd or even uh, type of monster. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to draw the different body parts and when we finish drawing those, we're going to come over here and then label them. For instance, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the body, okay, of my monster. And please, you got to be creative. Don't copy mine. You got to, you know, be creative with your own. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a body right here. All right. And then I'm going to put some heads on it. Did I say heads? That's right. I'm going to put two heads on my monster right here. Just like that. Now, I put two heads, right? I have one head and two heads. What is two? What is the number two? Is that odd or even? That's right. That is even. So what I do is I go right over here and I put on this paper two heads. All right? So we're kind of keeping track of the body parts that we're putting on our monster. So. Um, right now I'm going to put some eyes on there. So I'm going to put an eye here and an eye there. Eye here and an eye there. Put some pupils looking at each other. So let's count how many eyes I have. I have one, two, three, four. Quattro. Is that even or odd? You're right. That is even. So I'm going to put right here, boom, four eyes. All right. Are you, are you getting to see what I'm doing right here? All right. And you can totally have fun with this. So now I'm going to put some uh, mouths on my uh, little creature. So I'm going to put a mouth right there and I'm going to put a mouth here and another mouth. 
what? You're putting three mouths on there? Yeah, he gets hungry. All right, and then we put a little couple of teeth right there. All right. You can be totally creative, totally crazy on these drawings. So I have one, two, three. Bam. That's an odd number right here. Three mouths. How crazy is that? Okay, now we can put some arms right here. All right, and yeah, just having fun. You can just have so much fun using your imagination. And did you know that kids that are in first and second grade, they are at the highest level of their um, creativity and their imagination? So no wonder um, they're coming up with such cool stuff. You give them a box and that box is a spaceship. It can be a car, it can be a house. So many cool things. Here, let's count the arms. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Got six arms, six is, that's right, six is an even number, six arms. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump right down here and I'm gonna put some feet on this little guy here. All right, and maybe he want, needs one more foot, you know, so when he's walking around and then he sees a soccer ball, he wants to go ahead and kick it, but he doesn't want to trip, so he's going to have another foot right here, and this foot is for kicking soccer balls. So he's got one, two, three feet. Three feet. And you can go totally crazy with your drawing. I'm just going to put some antennas up here. And uh, maybe uh, a nose, this guy will have a nose. And you got the teeth. So all you have to do is when you draw your body parts, you put them right here in your chart. Bada boom, bada bean. How cool is that? So that's kind of a cool activity to do some work with odd and even numbers. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I hope you had a fun time learning about even and odd numbers. Remember, an even number is zero, two, four, six, or eight, and an odd number is one, three, five, seven, and nine. And I hope you are having fun learning math and also getting some exercise. And that is what I am gonna do right now. I'm gonna go climb some tall buildings and I hope you get outside and enjoy the day too. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Make sure you check out the other videos on, ha on here that I have with drawing and mathematics. And like always, have a fun day. Adios, bye-bye.